president of the Atlantic Corporation, Joe Shannon was born and raised on Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia, beginning a lifelong love affair with his birth home that continues to this day. It's peaceful and it's quiet. Most of the smart people have left Cape Breton, as you know. You know, they're across Canada and they're in, they're in high political office or they're in uh, senior positions in companies and uh, they made huge contribution. It's always been said that the biggest export in Cape Breton was its people and its brains. So all the smart people have left Cape Breton. And unfortunately, I, uh, I'm still there. <laughs> Joe got his start in the transportation business, where he applied a grassroots approach to build his first company. Joe is uh, one of the few entrepreneurs who started at the bottom, driving a truck, and became an incredibly sophisticated businessman. You have to understand that Joe started every business from scratch. He bought the first truck in the trucking company. He drove that first truck in the trucking company for years. And he has built every one of his companies the same way. Joe's transportation company has grown from one truck and trailer to Canada's largest petroleum carrier and he's expanded his business interests to include other ventures, such as healthcare and retirement homes, quietly building a multi-million dollar empire. He just goes and gets it done. There's no great discussion, there's no great flamboyance. It's simply all about execution and results. Smart, understands business, how to make decisions, control risk. He's really quite incredible. And he delivers companies that grow very profitably, very rapidly, to the point now where I believe the Shannon companies are employing thousands of employees. Everything Joe touches, he does 120%. I mean, that's real leadership. Very quiet, effective leadership. Joe doesn't have any errors. Obviously, he's got a lot of pride. Like, like any successful uh, person, but um, Joe doesn't flaunt it. Joe just does the job. One job that Joe took on in the 80s was reorganizing DEVCO, the government-owned coal and steel subsidiary that was the main source of income for most residents on the island, a venture that had never turned a profit in its 30-year history. Uh, it might have been the second year I was there, second fiscal year, we made a $10 million operating profit. First time it ever happened at that point. It was no small task, and one he took on a volunteer basis while continuing to build his own companies. Joe just went in there determinedly, uh, which I always admired. Here was, here was a very successful um, um, businessman who took his valuable time to run this Crown Corporation and turn it around and change the attitude of that whole area. Joe's further commitment to improving life in his home province can be seen in his hands-on efforts with Cape Breton University, where he personally recruited some of Canada's top industry leaders to form the Board of Directors and formed an educational mecca by raising the funds to build the Shannon School of Business. Everybody used to leave. Everybody was leaving Cape Breton. And so some of the first signs of success have been that the really, really bright high school graduates, which used to all go away, are now wanting to come to Kibretan University. The results are a growing provincial economy and more young people staying in the province. And his efforts at the university include special programs geared towards indigenous people. We reach the point today where the Cape Breton Business School are, have become the dominant place in Canada for business education for Native peoples. And hopefully it will change the people's lives and improve the quality of life for the uh, Aboriginal people in Canada. To Joe Shannon, the simple things in life are what matter. He works hard to make a difference for those around him. And although he does not broadcast his deeds, it does not go unnoticed. To me, he, he epitomizes what being an entrepreneur is all about. Uh, you find a niche, and you grow it, and you have your instincts, and you take risks, but you accomplish something. And Joe is a real leader in, in that regard. 
If I was to say the three passions of Joe Shannon, it's very simple. Number one is his family. And he and his wife, Ruthie, have a beautiful family with five children, all of whom work in the business. They're all very, very capable, wonderful young people. His second passion, I would say, absolutely are his businesses. And his third passion, which I've shared with him and learned a lot about, is his native Cape Breton. And um, he is putting back into Cape Breton um, everything he can. You know, I'm one of them. <laughs> I get a job and I'm happy to have it. And I'm going to hang on to it as long as I can. And that's really all you do. You just get up every day and you go to work. And, and you know, our responsibility as a family is to grow the business. And, uh, you can do that in one of two ways. You can either go get more revenue or cut your costs. That's your responsibility every day. And that's what we do. Please welcome Joe Shannon, 2013 inductee as companion to the Order of the Canadian Business Hall of Fame.